Good morning, it's the Jeffrey G Show. Supposedly several weeks ago, but they kept it quiet. 
Uh, speaking of families, Ryan Reynolds wants to have a large family. Uh, with Blake Lively, he said, on Twitter. And Mariah Carey was rushed to the hospital Sunday night. Um, she was shooting a video um, and dislocated her shoulder. They popped it back in. She's fine. She's in New York City. She's going to be performing live on Sunday, so don't worry. Country singer Randy Travis, however, is not so lucky. He's hospitalized with heart issues. He's in critical condition after suffering complications of vein cardiovascular pathy. It's a disease that weakens and enlarges the heart muscle. Um, so Amanda Bynes is back on Twitter again. And who did she add to her ugly list? No one but President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. She said they are ugly. And I really don't think you should mess with the president, Amanda Bynes. You stupid. Like, really? They could have you killed? I'm going to label the show Amanda Bynes. I want you to uh, get in contact with me, Amanda. Crazy. So Snooki and Pauly D had to change their cell phone numbers, wah, 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 on Sunday. After um, swastika-loving Nazi hacked into Jay Wow's Twitter account and posted their numbers on her Twitter page. And this guy's Twitter account, like, was all Nazi stuff. It was crazy, ridiculous, inappropriate. So, uh, Lawrence Taylor, he's an NFL legend, is very concerned for his son. Um, in the wake of Lawrence Taylor Jr.'s statutory rape and sodomy arrest. And the New England Patriots did a... Uh, pretty cool thing. They allowed um, anyone to go to the stadium yesterday and swap out their Aaron Hernandez jerseys that they bought. Um, and they can switch it out with any other player on the team. They swapped out 2,500 jerseys. And the most popular requested jersey was not Tim Tebow, but Vince Wilford. Interesting. And 50 Cent Drop from Major League Baseball party after domestic violent charges um, were filed against him. Sponsors drop you like that. Former Basketball Wives star Anna Benjamin. She's an estranged wife to Chris Denson. Benson, so it's Anna Benson. Uh, was arrested for felony assault after she allegedly broke into his apartment wearing a bulletproof vest, had a metal baton, and a gun. But luckily, he was not home, but who knows what would have happened. Great, great. And Jay-Z finally revealed a couple secrets on Twitter yesterday. He never tweets, and he revealed his favorite cereal is Captain Crunch with berries, obviously. You gotta have the Captain Berries, he says. And then he said he won't tweet again for probably another year. And for Miss Biggest Loser star, Tara Costa, uh, she won Biggest Loser in 2009, is being sued um, for gaining weight. Uh, she had a deal with a company, uh, kickboxing.com. I love kickboxing.com. Um, and she's gained weight, and she's not holding up to her end of the bargain, so she could lose a lot of money in this endorsement deal if they sue her. Um, and update already, TMZ says that Clooney and Keebler are still living together for now, but that soon will change. And Lance Armstrong uh, found a sport that he's still allowed to play in. He played a round of golf in Hawaii this past weekend. Big Brother host Julie Chen uh, addresses the Big Brother racism on the talk yesterday. She said it stung her. Those things, in my opinion, it felt mean-spirited, it felt ugly, and it felt mean. That's a quote from host Julie Chen. And I don't know why they haven't learned after the Paula Deen incident. So, a source is claiming that Nigella Lawson is devastated over Charles' um, divorce filing. This um, is reported in Us Weekly that the 53-year-old chef is devastated that their 10 mar marriage is coming to an end. If she's devastated, why doesn't she say it on the air? People, come on. 
You guys need good publicists. And two-year-old Hannah Warren, who was um, had an experimental surgery um, built from her own cells. They built a windpipe because she was missing it. Um, she's passed away uh, at two years old, and she's the youngest person to die with an experimental surgery. Sad news. Uh, so, I have a list for you guys. Uh, a list of the best places to work in 2013. Here are the top 10. Coming in at number 10, Boston Consulting Group. 9, in and out Burger. 8, National Instruments. 7, Edelman. 6, Google. 5, um, MD Anderson Cancer Center. 4, uh, Bain & Company. 3, River Band. 2, McKinsey & Company. And number 1, Facebook. Now, the last five out of the 50, because it was a list of the top 50 places to work. These are still great companies to work. Anything in the top 50 are. The last five are 46 is Costco Wholesale, 47, uh, Intermation Healthcare, 48, Turner Broadcasting, 49, Airtron, and 50, Starbucks. I knew Starbucks is a great place to work. They give everyone benefits right away, no matter if you're a manager or a barista. Um, so there's my list for you guys for today. Let's get into some uh, daily talk. So, I'm going Madea crazy again. Watching these Tyler Perry movies, all I do is just like repeat them. And people are getting, some people laugh, some people are getting annoyed, but I think it's hilarious. Byron! Where's my child support money? Bye! You have to see the movie to see it. Medea's Big Happy Family. Go run it. Uh, so, I love my friend Brittany. I worked with her for about a year now, but we're just getting close. And I ran into her last night and her roommates. And I was just making them laugh, and it was a great time. So, hello, Brittany. And I would like to give a shout out to Amy and her fiance. I don't know your fiance's name, but hello, hello fiance. Thank you for watching the show. Um, so like I said yesterday, I need to go viral. No one's emailing me or sending me messages. It's not a very interactive audience I have here, people. Come on. So I got the call sheets yesterday in the mail, and that's a book that they have in New York City and in L.A., it has all the casting directors, all the production companies, etc. So I can send out some DVDs today. I'm going to make it big, I'm telling you. Big. Huge. And my fans on this show, I'll remember it. Trust me. So, as I've been mentioning, Oprah you know, talks about life purpose. And I'm meant to entertain people. Um, I love to make people laugh. I love to make people feel good. I love to give gifts. Uh, I do stand-up comedy, the show. So I'm meant to entertain, and I'm following my inner whisper. So yesterday was a good day at work. Worked all day. I got cut like around 3.30. And still made some good money, thank God. Um... And my regular Gail came in, her husband just passed away, and it made me really sad. So I gave her my phone number and said, if you ever need anything, give me a call, and I gave her a big hug. And then I found out one of my, the silent partners of my company, one of his dogs died, so I felt so bad again. Ah, never ending. And I went to the gym yesterday. No, it did not work out. I went to pay my bill, but I am going to start either this week or next week. But I'm getting a date, and I will let you know, and we're going to monitor me, because i got to lose this b -b 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 belly weight. Belly weight. Belly weight. Chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. So, um, yes. So I had a nice conversation with my mother last night. So that was good. So... I hate waiting um I don't know what it says. Oh my god. Yes I know what it says. 
I'm pissed off at Chelsea Handler again because I wait up every night to watch a show. Granted, I could look at the TV guide, but it was a repeat. That bitch is always on vacation. Chelsea, come on. God, you're my idol. I'm going to get a tattoo of Chelsea Handler, like right here in her face, and see if I can get on the round table that way. What do you think? We'll see. Maybe I'll get Ellen. Hi, Ellen. All right. Uh, so last night I was walking the dogs. Like I walk them three times a day. Usually if I'm off, I'll walk them four. Dutch didn't go this morning because he was too tired, but Duke went. So after the show, I'm going to take him. Don't worry. And um, so I'm walking the dogs, and this guy in this bicycle is, like, stalking me. Like, I'm walking him to the corner, and he's just going up the street and doing a U-turn up the street and doing a U-turn. And then I like turn the corner to go on the busy road and I'm like, if I come back around the block and he is still there, I'm calling 911. And he, he was there and he's like, hey, how are you? He was cruising me and I'm like, no. What part of N-O don't you understand? The N or the O? But I probably could have got <sighs> Whatever, 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 whatever. So I was going to work today and pick up a shift, but I got a lot of grab bagging to go through. I'm so excited. and I'm going to film it all. Um, and that's about it for today, guys. So, when I bought all these, you know, I drive a scooter, so I had to buy this bag, this huge bag, to put all the grab bags in, plus another one. And I literally just cleaned out all my stuff and now I brought all this in. I'm so dumb sometimes. But there could be giveaways here for you guys if I have more of an interactive audience. And if you want to know the best places to work, go to glassdoor.com. They do have the top 50. And say hi to somebody today. Who are we going to say hi to today? Mom and Joyce. Hi, Aunt Joyce. I know you watch every day. Ready? We're done. Look what? Look at the camera and tell everyone say hi to somebody today. Say hi to somebody today. What are we gonna do? Go we'll shopping, take a nap, relax. Whatever we want, I guess. So everybody. Have a great day and remember. Again, when you're alone and you're making you lonely, you can always go downtown. When you got worries and most of those worries seem to happen, I know. Downtown. Hi, everybody. Have a great Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Forget and leave the trigger and go downtown. Things will be great when you're downtown. No better place when you're downtown. Waiting for you.